Thank you very much, uh, Minister Dear, uh, Deputy Prime Minister uh, Dear Olga, Dear Minister Laib, Dear Haja, uh, Dear friends, Dear ladies and gentlemen. Today we have launched the accession negotiations uh, with Ukraine following the decision of the European Council back in December last year. And uh, this is, I think, the moment when uh, we all want to and have to congratulate Deputy Prime Minister uh, Stefan Nishinya, uh, her team, and the whole nation of Ukraine uh, for this achievement, because this is a remarkable achievement. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, the very dedicated work and efforts of the Belgian Presidency in making this happen today. And I also appreciate the very strong engagement and cooperation of all the member states uh, in this uh, process. Today's meeting confirms uh, the importance of the European Union's enlargement policy, which is more relevant than ever. And in the current geopolitical context, becomes ever more important and ever more paramount. Obviously, this is good news first and foremost for the people of Ukraine, because this makes it very clear that when we talk about their future in the EU, we mean business. Ukraine has met the conditions to open accession negotiations. Key to this success was the determination of the authorities in Ukraine to embrace the momentum of reform efforts over the last years and months. Moreover, addressing and engaging bilaterally with member states on issues of special concern such as the rights of persons belonging to national minorities has facilitated largely uh, the process. Therefore, we encourage Ukraine to maintain this approach also for the future. Let me assure Ukraine that uh, you can always count on the Commission's continued support on your path to the EU and the 50 billion euros Ukraine facility in force since uh, March this year will also support Ukraine's economy and reform agenda envisaged in the Ukraine plan, uh, which should also uh, promote EU-related reforms so that Ukraine can become a member. Altogether, our role is to make sure that Ukraine will be well prepared, including on important issues such as the rule of law, fundamental rights, socio-economic policies, the whole wide spectrum of the EU acquis, when it will join the European Union. We will launch now the bilateral screening of the EU acquis, and it will allow us to identify all the major issues to be addressed during the negotiations, as well as the areas where preparations need to be intensified. I'm confident of the determination of Ukraine to work hard through the negotiations, and this will be made even stronger with a wide national consensus and involvement of all relevant stakeholders on this path uh, throughout the way, something that needs to be nurtured. Because the accession negotiations need to be an inclusive process for the entire country uh, and for everybody uh, in the country. Negotiations are of a transformative process, which we will have, I think, a positive impact also on the society and the economy, bringing benefits uh, to the people of Ukraine already in the process and, of course, after joining the European Union. So we are happy to work together to continue the path. Uh, and as it was already pointed out by Minister Lahib, uh, the, the heavy part of the work only starts now. Thank you.